down and you just yell out the numbers and I'll punch a man. And then it was like one man being like, A764297. And she's like, A764297. <laughs> and then it was like, next bag. And then suddenly it was like bags were just going and there was no shouting or talking between the two. And I was like, we're fucked. Our bags are gone. Yeah, when I... <laughs> <laughs> no question. Were they gone? Did you... Yeah, we didn't get them. Never. We got to Toronto, no bags. <laughs> they're like seven, five, four, three years. They're like, hi, I'm Norman Kane. You're like, hello. Uh, we got to Toronto. Uh, we, we, like, for some reason, you know when you, like, fill out the customs thing? I, like, filled mine out and, like, threw it in the garbage. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, we'll be needing this. Like, took all the baggage cards and was like, Stuffing them in the garbage. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> so like, oh, I know we didn't even get, get, get to the customs man yet. And he's like, Can I see your cards? And I was like, I put them in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go get them? And I was like, Okay. <laughs> go get them. So you're like, I don't get the garbage in the airport. Grab them. See the luggage tags. I'm like, Won't be needing those. <laughs> Look at the kiosk, empty, nobody there. There's like no one from our flight, everyone is gone, and there's no luggage. Oh. This is in Toronto. And you're like, I was like, it's like two in the morning. Like, yeah. <laughs> okay, I went to the Air Canada kiosk. She's like, do you have your bag shakes? I was like, I threw them in the garbage. <laughs> She's like, you're gonna have to get them. Back <laughs> through customs, back through customs. Like, I was like, hey guys, like, man behind the green curtain, it totally felt Wizard of Oz, because they were, I'm like, going back through <laughs> that place that you never no, go you back never left, through. Yeah. And then fishing through the garbage, like a black lady would be like, mm-mm. <laughs> 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 Jet lagged, yeah. nearly hurled myself off a rock yeah. into black ice nothingness. Almost broke up, like, in the plane, like, tried my hardest to not be here with this other person. And then, <laughs> yeah, like, these little insignificant tags with, like, four numbers on them. Yeah, the like, stickers. you know, just so pointless. And then bring them over, and she was like, yeah, okay. She barely took any information. She's like, your cell phone number, your cell phone number. Address. And you feel like, okay, this is not, that happened to me in Peru, and it was like, there's no way I'll see my luggage again. Yeah. And then they were like, like, it's Peru. It's gone. Yeah. You know, now a donkey is wearing my hat. Like, it's just, it's gone. <laughs> yeah, it's been thrown and, uh, into the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, someone's uh, got uh, the gas station attendants wearing my Versace belt, and... Uh, yeah. The orphans all have wearing white prom dresses and everything else. Prom dresses. <laughs> all the useless shit I brought with me. So multiple prom. No, but they I, I I speak fluent Spanish, so I was like insistent to the lady and like stood there and then the lady was just like, I'm gonna check again. I'm gonna She's go like, back. Oh, they've been here behind my desk. They, <laughs> and they were, yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh my friend Tommy picked me up. He drives like a mini? Because I had, I had decided to move from New York to San Diego, and it flopped. It was an epic flop, and so I was like, well, I need to leave the States. What should I do? I'm going back to Peru. Like, i got to go reconnect. And so I brought everything. Like, I had moved from New York to San Diego. So then I, like, brought everything to the airport in L.A., five bags. They were like, um, it's 100 bucks a bag. I, I bawled my eyes out, but like I was literally crying because it was like the move had flopped and yeah. now I have to pay a hundred dollars. It was like, I'm bringing these things to my family, even though my family wasn't there. It was like, <laughs> no, all these prom dresses are for me. And uh, <laughs> then I <laughs> get on the plane and it's Did one you have of those. To pay? No, uh -huh. somehow really? she waved me through. She waved me That's through. Awesome. She was like, Sweet okay, I'll only make dragon. you pay for one. And I had the cash in hand. Like Spot karma. on Sally, let me right on through. Karma right on through. Mince my eyes on those plates and pies. So I, uh, <laughs> then I'm on the plane. It's like the sketchiest plane. Uh, turbulence so bad that, <laughs> this is hilarious. The 
turbulence is so bad, we all fly up into the air and I hit my head oh on my the ceiling. God. Oh my God. And then I'm like at peace with it. So I turn around and there's a girl like in the aisle behind me and I turn and smile at her like, <laughs> and it was like probably the creepiest smile known to men. Because I'm like trying, <laughs> I'm trying to comfort her, but it's like we're in the middle of like a three-day emergency, and you're smiling at me. Make a connection with me now, so <laughs> before death, and then Tommy gets there. Oh, and I didn't tell you, I had done some hair modeling in San Diego where... You were going to say heroin? I had done some hair modeling where my hair was... The final result was neon orange. <laughs> so not only... And it's a bob. A neon fluorescent orange bob. Like Lilo, a Fifth element, Lilu. Mm. So... Yeah, cute when you're in Future World with Bruce Willis. Not so cute when you're going to South America. Get off the plane, and Tommy's like, whoa. And then I come through with all my bags, like, stacked hot. And he's like, he drives a mini. He's like, no sé si va a entrar mi auto. Like, I don't think it's going to fit in the car. And you were like, yes, well, it would somehow fit. Yeah, it somehow fit. I had, like, shoes, art, panics. <laughs> Unicorn. <laughs> False unicorn root. <laughs>